Do you need a bigger boat? <laughs> no, we have a perfect boat. It goes fast and we can get to where we need to go very, very quickly. So I don't need a bigger boat, uh, but I did love the movie Jaws and it inspired me actually to do what I'm doing today. Everyone talks about white sharks, but what other species of shark do you see off the coast of Cape Cod? We've got over a dozen species of sharks. Many of them live several miles from land. The blues, the makos, the thresher sharks. We have big basking sharks, world's second largest fish. And then we have some smaller sharks that come closer to shore. How many sharks do you normally tag in a year? Well, it changes from year to year, but on average between 20 and 40. But it's a team effort. Everybody on the boat's working and there's a guy in the sky. So we've tagged, I think, a little over 380 individual white sharks. Good work, team. What does this buoy do? Oh, this is the latest, greatest technology. It will detect one of our tagged fish and broadcast that detection, notifying the lifeguards and public safety officials immediately. So these are off our most popular beaches. Tell me a little bit about what you put these buoys through. These buoys, because we're facing the open Atlantic Ocean, we get big storms here in New England. And when that rolls through, there's heavy waves, surf, currents, riptides, you name it. They can get beat up, but they keep working. So anyone can access the shark data via shark activity, but how do you use the data? Well, we use the data to monitor the presence of these animals, just like the public, but we're very much interested in where these sharks are over the course of the summer. It kind of helps us determine where we're gonna go out tagging. Do you have repeat offenders? Who are the sharks you see most frequently? <laughs> we tend to see sharks over and over again. It's like once they find this beautiful restaurant out here, these customers keep coming back. So we have the same cast of characters. Zero's been around already this year. Hen has been around the last two days. Hen's been detected on three of these real-time receivers. It tells us not only when these sharks come back, but how long they stay at each one of these buoys. Who's the biggest? The biggest shark we've ever tagged has the name of Curly. She's just shy of 18 feet long. And, and believe it or not, white sharks only get to be about 19 to 20 feet in length anywhere in the world. So she was really big and a beautiful fish and one of my favorites. Do you find sharks scary? You know what, when I first started doing this, I was kind of a young kid who was naive, um, but I have to admit a little bit of fear, mostly through respect, um, has crept into my world with these sharks. What is your most interesting or surprising shark fact? One of the aspects we've learned from great white sharks is they don't just travel along the coastline. They move out toward, uh, you know, the mid-Atlantic. And when they're in the mid-Atlantic, they're diving down to depths as great as 1,000 meters, 3,000 feet, every day through a really broad temperature range. Newer tagging technologies have taught us that, and I think that's really cool. And we have no idea why they're doing that. You've already said you like Jaws, which is a big relief. Mm. But it's the 50th anniversary, so the question on everyone's lips. 